What's going on, guys? Welcome to my YouTube channel. It's your boy Race Blaze. If you're new to channel, remember to subscribe to all that great stuff. All right, y'all. So in this video, I'm going to show you guys how to work with any motion uh, capture data. You know how to bring that into Unreal Engine without live streaming it into the uh, software itself. Because I'm getting the XN. I believe it's coming in next week. And I was talking to them. They said, you know, in order to have the live stream into other, you know, 3D softwares, I have to pay like nine thousand dollars. I was like, well, I'm all, I'm all, I'm all, I'm all keep dreaming on that dream right there, you know. So basically, I need to figure out how to bring the mocap data from, you know, XN or Rococo or any motion capture data you're working with, and have it work in Unreal Engine. And I figured it out, so you know, I'm here to share the knowledge. So remember, subscribe, y'all, and please, if you want to support me, you can always, you know, PayPal me, you know, uh, link in bio. All right, let's begin, man. Uh, Konglao, we need to stop simulating your ass <laughs> so basically um i'm i do have rococo um motion capture you know as i spoke earlier or before i actually bought the suit but apparently it's not working properly so it's kind of a bummer but you know that's why i'm moving to an extent okay anyways um so what you want to do is you want to open up rococo i think i do have it open up here let's open up rococo real quick okay so this is the same with, you know, XN or um, other motion capture system that you have, which is kind of the only one I know, XN, I know Vicon, but too expensive. So um, this is kind of like the motion uh, capture that I, you know, captured. As you can see, like Rococo is pretty, it's not that good, you know, and look at all the, me uh, ma uh, the metal that was around my home. So that's really affecting the... The, the performance right so anyways that's not the point of this video so you have your motion capture data right you just want to go to export and what you want to do is you want to actually export body mesh as well so when you bring it to unreal engine it's going to be like a skeleton all right so i'm not i'm not going to do that so i'm just going to click on export and that's it so let's move into unreal engine so pretty much you just want to bring the mesh that you actually exported into unreal engine and uh you're going to have something like this with just the uh, puppet so i call this a puppet okay okay so now the next thing you want to do is we are going to go into the retarget manager now um i i believe when you go into the retarget manager the f the thing you want to see here is the human noise so you want to select humanoid rig right so i'm just going to clear all this actually so you want to select the humanoid rig and basically you just want to um you know retarget all this to your joints okay so the roots i usually root, leave the root as none you know some some actually does have root but like i don't think rococo skeleton has root but yeah you can leave it as none it still works so pretty much when you're done with all that well when you're done with filling that you just want to um, go into advance and pretty much do the same for the fingers now this is very important you have to actually do the fingers as well like you know get the right left index and all that and um, for the parts that you don't really have a joint for, like the lower arm twist, you can just leave it as none. So I've already actually filled this up. I'm not going to bore you guys. So I'm just going to go to load here. And I believe this is my load. So pretty much everything is loaded up. It kind of took a while, but yeah. So you want to ensure that you have the right, you know, um, controls. I mean, the right skeleton, you know, attached, right? And also the ball left, you want to change that to left toe base. All right. And same with the right. So pretty much that's it. And um, we can get out of here. So let's go into Kung Lao rig, right? So I'm going to click on my character that I want to retarget my animation to. I'm going to go into skeleton. Now there are a couple of things that you want to do first. And I believe let's go under the skeleton tree. And um, pretty much, I am just going to change this into a T-pose because, you know, our Rococo skeleton is on a T-pose. So usually, most mocap data is always on a T-pose. Now, there is a trick to um, the, the positioning of the T-pose. And I'm going to show you guys what I actually do to get it right. So I'm going to change this to zero. And then, yeah, we're going to change that to zero. Change this to zero as well. Then I'll change this to zero. So for the right shoulders, I am going to change this to this, change this to 90, right? 
I believe the left shoulder here, why well, it was somehow like this. Let me just um let's zero this out. Okay, so change this to 90 90. I just wanted to be sure that it's okay. Okay, so for the right shoulders, I'm just gonna rotate it. Always 90 degrees, all right? 90 degrees here. The right arm will be, let's see, yeah. That, that, and that. Okay, so now we have our character in a T pose. Now, the problem is when you import this, your mocap data, you, if you notice the arm is gonna be closer to, you know, his spine area. So what I usually do to correct that now this is up to you you don't have to do this what i usually do is i change the right shoulder to 20 like i just reduce this to like 20 degrees okay and then i increase the arm to like 30 degrees so i found this to be really really accurate when i import my mocap data and i attach it to my life my, my, my characters so again you can explore that your choice but pretty much that really that always worked for me so i just use that Okay, so now I'm going to go to create and then current pose. We just want to create a pose for that. And pretty much we have our pose. Okay. So now let's go into the skeleton, the retarget manager. Okay. I'm just going to apply this to asset. Okay. So first thing you want to do is you want to add your skeleton, which is Kung Lao here. And then select humanoid rig. And basically we're going to do exactly the same thing. So I already spared myself the time, you know, doing that. So I'm just going to load my, um, bone map in here. And that's pretty much loaded up properly. And now I'm going to go into the modify pose and then I'm going to change this to Kung Lao origin skeleton. And then I'm going to import this. And as you can see now is our characters on the T pose. So we can save this. So now let's go ahead to test if this actually works. Okay. So let's go into Rococo. Now you can bring in any of your mocap data. I just brought in a couple of, of them. So I'm just going to go to retarget animation here, duplicate, and then Kung Lao here, and then retarget. So let's see if that worked. So as you can see, that really worked nicely, except for the finger area, which is just yeah so like i'm saying like i like i told you guys like the arms if you had left if we had left it you know in that exact same t pose the arms are going to be going inside the spine so i found this setting to be mostly accurate now the fingers i really don't know why that is like that um i believe it has to do with the location of the fingers yeah I believe the location of the fingers is not proper. Okay, so here's something we can actually try. Now, I'm gonna go back to my skeleton here. Go to the skeleton tree. Now, there's something you can do. You wanna change this to show retargeting option. Let's try to change the fingers to the skeleton. Okay, so I'm just gonna change all this to skeleton. Let's do that real quick. I really don't know why this is like really difficult in bringing your mocap data and then, you know, trying to match it up with your character in Ori Engine. I, it's just complicated. I, I don't know why it's complicated, really. So, so let's see if that did anything. So as you can see, that, that changed the position of the fingers and that made it look much better except for this part which is which is easy fix actually so let's go ahead to do the same oh, even the left hand so again you have to go back so let's go to the left hand here the left and the right hand we have to change that to skeleton for some reason i don't know why this is the situation but yeah we'll work with what we got right <laughs> so let's change this to skeleton real quick and now also change all this to skeleton okay It's kind of a little bit frustrating, you know, because imagine you have you have a lot of characters to quickly animate. 
you know, you don't want to like stretch, you know, trying to do this over and over again. But yeah, what you got to do, right? So let's see if that made it look better. So as you can see, that is looking way better, right? The, the, the hands are pretty much fixed. So in, with my control re template, I'm, I can easily correct the thumb. So I don't really, I don't really care much about that. So as you can see pretty much, this is how you can retarget your animation to auto skeleton. Now, one thing I like about this is I can basically just like, you know, retarget to different characters, you know, using the same animation or mocap data I got from the software itself. So I don't have to be, you know, live streaming that exact animation because you can only apply it to that exact character. So yeah, um, let me know if this video helped, you know, um, like I said, you know, I'm getting the XN and it's coming in probably next week. So I'm going to be really exploring a lot, you know, and, uh, yeah, I'm just re ready to top up my animation. That's all I'm ready for. So, yeah, so that is how you can bring your, um, mocap data and assign that to different characters in our engine. If you guys like this video, give it a thumbs up. Um, make sure to subscribe. And pretty much, Kung Lao will see you in the next one. Thank you. Bye.